Hi there everyone, welcome to another Aorus Wi-Fi battle. Back to using my favorite team. Been a while since I uploaded one with these guys. And this was against a passerby called Ghoul. Both had some interesting Pokemon, so let's see how this went. Looking at his team, I saw he had a Rapid Spinner. So I figured there's no point in leading off with um, Galvantula here. I'm gonna lead off with my Gallade, just in case he wants to lead with something that could flinch me. But, turns out he leads out with this guy, which is a great matchup for me. I'm thinking he's probably going to switch into Slowbro here, and maybe I could predict that and go into Superior. But, now nah, Mega Evolve, and just on the off chance he doesn't. <coughs> but no, as we saw, he went for the obvious play and switched into his Slowbro. Here, I figure it's obvious that he, I'm going to switch since there's very little, if anything, I can do to a Slowbro. So I decide, screw it. I'm gonna stay in, go for a uh, nice punch. If I'm lucky, I'll get a Freeze Hat. Highly unlikely, but... Off it goes, no Freeze Hacks. Surprise, surprise. And Thunder Wave. Quite unfortunate. But, um... Yeah. I'll have to switch into Floor just now to uh, sort that out. Floor just can tank any special hit that uh, Slowbro wants to throw at me. In comes my Titania, and Sponge is a nice Psychic. Although with that uh, with that Sand, it does do some decent damage. Sorry if I sound a bit weird, I've got a, uh, I've got a sore throat at the moment. I let loose with that wish. And he goes for the Thunder Wave. Quite annoying. Lamus. But, I'm gonna recover my HP now anyway, so I'll go for a nice aromatherapy. Heal myself and Gallade. While he decides to heal himself too with a nice slack off. Perhaps wanting to show me that there's nothing I can do to him. Yep, aromatherapy is let loose. Which uh, cures me and Gallade. Titania and Kira. I did get that nice wish recovery though. And here I go for Toxic. I'm surprised he hadn't switched out by now, but uh, nice, I've got that. Big wall toxic. And he went for another Thunder Wave. A bit lame. I'm going to have to go for my thing again, but uh, I think perhaps he's predicting that. He's going to predict me to go for an aromatherapy and switch out now. So I believe I, in fact, will just go for the Moon Blast. All these residual uh, damagey things taking up quite some time. And yep, he does switch out. And I let go of a moon blast. Which does do some nice damage with a critical hit. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna want to switch out now. I'd like to preserve my Titania if I can. I'll go into Nelly the Elephant. While he, of course, goes for the Iron Head. Nelly is able to take that quite well, and we see it as a Life Orb user. Now, I figure a knockoff might be able to kill from this range. And I'm just able to survive that earthquake. So, yep, knockoff off. And down it goes. No Rapid Spinner on his team anymore. It means I'm free to come in with my Galvantula. I figure I may as well let uh, Nelly go down here. She did her job. And let's break the Sphinx Focus Sash. Perhaps predicting the switch. Goes for a knockoff. And away goes Nelly's best. But now I'm free to bring in Galvantula and go for the Sticky Web. 
Perhaps I should have Thunder Waved here, but I figured, nah, this thing's probably got priority. So, yep, out goes the Sticky Web. And he continues going for the knockoff. But now, I'm safe to bring in Kira. Whew, <sighs> sorry. Knockoff won't be doing too much to me. Well, actually, it did quite a lot. Good thing I went straight for the Dream Punch there instead of a bulk up. Able to get back all that HP. And unfortunately, he has an imposter ditto. Caught in the sticky web, but what item do dittos like to hold these days? Choice scarfs, isn't it? So he outspeeds me and go for a psycho cut. I went for a bulk up, hoping he'd go for any other move. But no, unfortunate. And I'll be going down to that now. <coughs> Poor Kira, down. Damn dittos, I swear. I hate them. They're so powerful. So I bring in Bertha. I figure maybe I can get a coil and hypnosis going. This coil with the leftovers recovery will take me out of uh, one hit KO range from that uh, psycho cut now. But I just have to hope he doesn't crit. It does have a boosted critical hit chance. And he gets the crit. Very unfortunate. Uh, this battle isn't looking too good for me now. Most of my strong moms are dead. So in comes Titania, who I know isn't going to take this very well. But I believe he's run out of PP for his uh, Psycho Cuts now. He only had five of them. So now I've got a Wish Up and I'll cure my Parallel... Paral paralysis, that's the word. His struggle was almost enough to take me out. But now I've got that wish recovery. It definitely won't be. I would have loved to have finished that thing off, but it's more important that I am not paralyzed anymore. He decides to switch into his Despotar. Most people, of course, love to assume that Volker, uh, that Florgis are fully defensive. Oh, turns out I did just try finishing off. I didn't go for the Paralyze Heal. And lucky me, I was able to hit that incoming Tyranitar and did over half. Because, as I said, most people like to assume that Florgis are fully defensive, but uh, not this Florgis. I figure Florgis is a good special defense wall without any investment. So I just went for max special attack and speed. Because lots of people don't seem to expect that. And look, two hit KO on, an, on a Tyranitar. Who is possibly defensive? Can't be sure. But yep, down goes Despotar. And now I'm not paralyzed anymore. Everything is cool. So in comes Milotic, caught in the sticky web, quite a worry, is it competitive? No, I guess it's marble scale, but that's fine by me. I think I've only got Florgis and Superior left now, and let's just get as much damage off on the Milotic as we can now, and uh, Superior will be able to come in and sweep up afterwards. However, with that Ditto in the back, Things aren't looking too great. He'll be able to outspeed me and attack me. And maybe he'll be able to finish off Superior. I wonder, my Superior has Hidden Power Fire. If he transforms into me, will his have Hidden Power Fire? Here I possibly misplayed and went for the Toxic when probably... <sighs> hmm, sorry. I should have gone for the wish because now I'm in range of being taken out by his next scold. Oh, I did go for the witch. Silly me, I must have mixed up the terms there. So now, I think, was it here I misplayed and went straight for the moon blast? Oh, 
all this residual damage. Ah yes, here I went for the aromatherapy. Get rid of that nice toxic. Yep, and all that residual damage. At least I'm not pa uh, poisoned anymore. Now I seem to remember me making a wrong move here. But I could be wrong again. <laughs> Good floor just doing its uh, nice job. I go for the wish. He lets loose with the school. School. I pray I don't get burned. But unfortunately I do. And now the burn plus that uh, sand damage means I probably won't be able to survive the next hit. So if I have any common sense about me, I'm going to go for a Moonblast. These games can last so long with all this residual damage. They need to speed that up next gen. Yeah, here's where I screwed up. I was like, oh right, if I go for a robot therapy here, wait a minute, I'm not going to be able to survive this school, am I? Whoops. And down goes Titania. But all is not lost. I do have the uh, superior in the back. Now that the sand is gone, no more of that residual for me. With its health uh, damaged by the toxic there, I think I should be able to take it out in one leaf storm. So away I go. Take it down. Now I'm thinking, oh, yeah, he sent in his Slowbro here knowing that there was nothing his Slowbro could do. What he's hoping is, I'll boost my stats, he'll come in with Ditto and copy them, and then be able to take me out. So I'm at plus four now. And it all comes down to this. Is his hidden power going to turn into fire like mine? However, I am wearing an assault vest, so I think I should be okay. But it's quite tricky. He's not copying my assault vest's uh, status change as well, so I should, I think, be able to take him out with hidden power fire. Surprise, surprise, he goes for the dragon uh, pulse. Which, with my Assault Vest, is not enough to finish me off. And Hidden Power Fire at plus four is able to take him out. Giving me the victory. That was a very hard-fought battle, but uh, glad I managed to win. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed.